Welcome to 1407 Green Market Lane. This is the living member of the X-Men. Don't let anyone tell you different. Woo! Dark X-Men, number four. Storm the castle. Up jump the devil. I like I like what you did there. I, I like that. I, I like what you did there, Mr. Fox. Written by Steve Fox with uh, Jonas Schnarf as the artist and Frank Martin as the color artist. Now, this is part four of the the five issue mini series Dark X Men, starring Madeline Pryor, Havoc, Azazel, Implate, Gambit. <laughs> all right, all right, that's just good. It's crazy. Get, it starts out so beautiful i love seeing rogue and gambit together i know a lot of people don't like gambit because you know that's weird but i love their their relationship when it's written well and this is so cool rogue's like i don't think you should be on that team gambit's like i don't want to be on this team <laughs> but sometimes you gotta be here. i gotta be here for now um I love it. Uh, I love everything about it. Orcus is working with demons. They stormed the castle by using an old ex favorite from the 90s, Abyss. Now, if you know who Abyss is, good for you. He is a mutant who has the ability to um, pull the, to create a, a a man, he has a black hole in his chest and he could pull things into it. He's also Nightcrawler's half brother through Azazel. And we get, we get some like a nice little tease of what's going to happen in X Men Blue. Please don't go with the Claremont thing. It is so stupid. So stupid. No, the Guthries don't have the same power. The Guthries are all different types of mutants. It doesn't work for... Oh, never mind. No, I, no I'm not even going to get into this. Um, uh, but Orcus and... Orcus and their demons storm the Limbo Embassy, and it becomes a horror movie. They start just running through, killing people. Uh... It kind of reminded me of X2, but like bloodier because people were dying. And we get to see Azazel and Implate are probably my favorite bad guys in this series. Gam is my favorite in the series, but like we're seeing more about what apparently Azazel has a contract with the St. Koi family. I would really like to see that explored. All right, I'm giving this book like a 3.75 out of 5 stars. It's good. It, you know, I really like the art. Steve Fox, you doing your thing, boy. This 1407 Great Mocking Lane. That's why he's the goat. See you soon. <laughs>